Hello guys, Coolio Hacker here, and after a long awaited time for this user, I do apologize. I am creating a video on how to install themes on Windows 7. Basically, this user wants me to install a theme and show him how to basically just install it. That's about it. Now, with Windows 7, there are multiple ways of installing themes, and you can define a theme as whatever you can customize your desktop with. For example, a theme could be I could be changing my windows you know the start menu and i could change it change the image to be something else or i can also change the the skin of your windows for example arrow could be changed by basically applying some quick settings and overriding some rules that windows doesn't really block but you it's worth getting this program basically to do that and i will be showing you how to do this today so here I have Windows 7 as a virtual machine. And I just basically lo loaded this now, so it might take a second. However, I already downloaded my file. You can go search wherever you want to download this file. I, I can definitely guarantee you it'll work. And we're going to go into my downloads. There we go. And by the way, you need a program called WinRAR, as in WinRare, or RAR, whatever you want to call it. And you need to extract it. I would suggest the desktop because that's the easiest place to find it. So all you have to do is take the theme that you have and extract it to the desktop and then I'll show you what to do after that which should take probably like two seconds okay so now that I extracted it the first thing you want to do is launch the universal theme patcher and if that's not available I will upload it it should be fine and whether you have a 64-bit machine or an x86 you want to choose that. If you don't know, chances are it's x86, but if you're a gamer, you might want to check. And the really simple way to do that is just start menu, right click on computer, go into properties, and it should say that it's a uh, 64 bit right there, as you can see. And that'll tell you which one it is. If it, if it doesn't say 64 bit, you have x86, and you just want to launch that select the language and I already have it installed um, see zero files need to be patched and it'll tell you what files need to be patched if you haven't patched them already so you need to do that first and then what you need to do is basically where it says themes you want to go into start computer local disk C then go into Windows, then there should be an option. Let's see here. Um, excuse me for a second while I look this up. Forgot the name of it. And you can do this as well. You can look up the name if you're, you're wondering what directory it is. Basically, I've got to drag the program called theme into the uh, themes directory, but I can't find that at this moment because I forgot the name of it. As I don't really mess with the themes that much. However, um, themes directory, Windows 7, and it'll show me where that is. Okay, that's right. Then resources. Oops. Right here, then themes. Now what you want to do is you want to drag that theme folder that we have on the desktop where it says themes right here. And I already have it there, so I'm not going to copy it. So what you want to do is you want to double click that, and all you have to do is go into where it says scary black 7 installer 
and then it will install it in some other language. I don't read whatever language this is, but I know Jaw means yes, and I'm overwriting the files. And there's also another step to this. There is a basically there's an orb creator on this, and you want to go back to the WinRAR and where it says, let's see here, creator excuse me where let's see where is it okay right here where it says w7 sbc you want to drag that to the desktop and basically you want to start the windows 7 start button changer and if you prefer i would keep this in the themes directory if you want um it's up to you it works either way however me I'm gonna place it in my themes directory because I know I want it there now what I want to do is because now it's installed I want to go into personalize and I want to choose the scary black 7 and it should apply should take a second to And now you can see it's applied. However, what if I want a different start menu button that's installed within the theme? Well, here comes the W7SB new orb changer. And what that does is it allows me to change my orb or the orb color. I double click that to open. And what you want to do is you want to select and because it's on the desktop you can just click right here and where it says start orb you want to select whether you want this one or the other one and this will apply to other themes as well if it has a different theme to it but however you can choose either or um, I prefer this one so if I hit open it should refresh everything and now as you see I have this brand new theme installed. It's not too hard to do, you just have to follow a little bit of steps. And I will upload the files for the Windows 7 Start Button Changer in case you don't have that installed, as well as the theme patcher, which you're definitely going to need. However, that should be it. And the, the key thing is to remember where your theme directory is, which is located in Local Disk C, Windows, Resources. and themes and I will post as many uh, links as I can up here on how to get to this as well as a description so thank you guys for watching and thank you to this user who requested this I definitely appreciate the time that this user has dealt with me for uh, not been able to update it but comp like I said complex things have happened where I had to reinstall the operating system so thank you guys and definitely rate comment and subscribe and if you have a request I will try to get to you as soon as I can uh, usually I will try to do it within the day however this user has waited several days I do apologize I have been busy and I, I have had to reinstall the operating system so thank you guys for watching and definitely comment rate and subscribe and also if you want to send me an email at jamcludier at cox.net or cludierhacker at gmail.com thank you guys and definitely comment rate and subscribe